welcome back looks like winter finally arrived here in utah and my grandma needs her snow pushed but luckily she has this ranger 1000 xp with the blade on it so i'm gonna see how this thing does pushing snow we have a good thank goodness a few years ago my grandpa bought a bigger snow shovel this is a i think 2019 polaris ranger 1000 pro star I don't know. it's the fully loaded one now when he got this, I thought, why are you getting that? It's just not my style. I like my X3 or more of a Razor, that faster style. But then I took this deer hunting last year and I fell in love with this machine. It, if I had the money, I'd have one of these and a sport machine. But this came equipped with the snowplow setup. So let's go up and look at the snowplow. Well, but I guess before we get the snowplow, full cap kit. So nice, insulated, roll up and down windows, heating system, so you're just toasty warm. It's the best way to push snow that I've ever had. So much better than the shovel. Up front here, we have the blade. This thing's a 60 inch wide blade, at least, I'm pretty sure it's a 60 inch wide blade. And it's all from Polaris. Everything's made to mount, super simple. It's a matter of a few little plugs right down here. So you do these few little plugs, you can release this little lever right here, pulls off really easy. It's not a matter of bolting it on every year. And so you aren't stuck all winter with this hooked up if you wanna go ride this for something else. It should really test how this thing does pushing for such a long distance. It's probably a good quarter mile. The blade we have on it, all controlled right off of here. Super nice because everything is electric. Plus this cab has a heating system in it. So this by far will be the nicest time I've ever had pushing snow. First pass, this thing's working awesome. But what's even nicer, defroster going, radio going, and just way better than using a shovel. Trying to figure out how to get the best shot of this, so we'll mount this up top here and see if you can see what's going on. One thing I do have to say is this is not the most maneuverable machine on it. If you have a small driveway or tight quarters, probably won't work. But for pushing something big like this, it is working awesome. The best part is sitting inside drinking coffee and just pressing buttons. Last year, I don't even think we got to use this because there was no snow. What an amazing view this morning. There is just something about the sky after a good snowfall. Just so blue. Well, back to pushing.
I don't know why none of the other brands have figured it out as well as Polaris, but their, their whole GPS, infotainment, screen system is by far the best out there. Uh, none even come close to comparing. Grandma snow's all pushed. Uh, yet again, I love pushing snow in this machine. Now, it's not great for like a small driveway. It's not maneuverable enough, but for her long driveway, it works awesome. And it's amazing how much it really does push. So if you're looking at, you know, a machine that needs to push a bunch of snow or really work, you might want to look into one of these Polaris Rangers or a utility machine of this type because they all do serve their purpose, whatever it is. Now, I don't know if our X3 <laughs> would do very well at this, but you know, for its purpose, this machine's awesome. Comment down below if you have anything like this that you push snow with or you have to use as a real work machine. How, how do you like it? What are your thoughts? All those sort of things. As always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all those sort of things. It keeps the channel doing great. If you want to see more about side-by-side -side stuff, let us know. Uh, we have access to some more stuff like that, but it's all on what you guys want to see. So yet again, thanks for watching and enjoy your weekend.